I'm trying to tip over! I am a master diver, you hear that? I'm a master diver, no one's gonna fucking die! I got you, dude. I got you, trust me, okay? I love you. Nerderotic.com. No! Jody's not gone yet. Chris Chibnall isn't gone yet, but there are signs. There are signs. Doctor Who showrunner Chris Chinball. Chibby. I like to call him Chibby. I know some people like to call him Chin Balls. That's okay, too. Uh, confirms three episodes cut from next series. It's due to the coof, everyone. It's due to the coof, and it has nothing to do with sinking ratings. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. Oh, no. Oh. I have never seen a show's ratings sink that fast. Uh, an established show uh, over the course of two seasons. The showrunner for Doctor Who, Chris Chibnall, Chibby, has confirmed that the next season of the sci-fi drama, it's not, uh, it, well, it's not a dra soap opera. The sci-fi soap opera has been hit by the coof restrictions uh, and has had to reduce its normal run to eight episodes, but he added he was thrilled to be making anything at all. There's a couple ways you can read into that statement. Gratitude or there was a possibility they weren't going to make anything at all. I don't know. I'll read, I'll read both into it. Season 13 will be Jodie Whittaker's last. Oh, I'm sorry. Third outing as uh, the doctor. And of course, that's the first female doctor played by Jodie Whittaker, who we will lovingly call Dr. Karen. Dr. Karen. Look at her haircut, dude. That is a Karen haircut. She leads around a couple of, um, as, as the BBC puts it, not me, people of color, like the good little white feminist that she is. So, yeah. Her third outing as uh, her bad impression of David Tennant and Matt Smith as the doctor, and not even her expertise in the realm of time and space has avoided the damage inflicted on the TV industry by the coof and of course the tv industry itself you see if this was a popular show if people actually liked it i'm guessing it would have still gotten its 12 or 13 episodes a chibi picture to the right explained to the mirror that the new health and safety protocols meant that each episode of Doctor Who was taking significantly longer to film than previously. You, well, what I heard was this was happening already, and we have proof because of the, the delays based on the new hiring uh, protocols at the BBC. They have some inexperienced people working. And you know what? It's great. I think it's good. Hire out of your selective pool and bring new people in. I, I'm not against that at all. Uh, I would, I would personally do it with like your lower tier shows to have you know build up their experience first before they're on the crown jewel. But maybe this isn't the crown jewel anymore. Maybe it's a it's a lower tier show. So touche. Um, I've heard that it's been taking a lot longer to film these episodes because of the lack of experience on the set. It's just what I've heard. Cannot confirm any of this, of course. In this strangest of years, the Doctor Who production team have worked wonders to get the show back into production, he said. Given the complexity of making Doctor Who and with new and rigorous uh, Koof working protocols, it's going to take us a little longer to film each episode, meaning we expect to end up with eight episodes rather than the usual 11. Well, it's usually 12 except for Jody. Now, is that eight including a holiday? So you're only going to get seven? I'm working this out of my head. So if we're only getting eight episodes, that's including their festive special, correct? So you're only getting seven episodes of proper series. Doctor Who executive producer Matt Strevens, uh, we are, uh, said we are so thrilled to have unlocked the TARDIS. Dusted down, dusted down the Sonic. Oh, it's probably been, been in heavy use considering how it's shaped. <laughs> and uh, be able to start filming again for the uh, next series of Doctor Who. Speaking of uh, 
vigorous. Uh, the amazing production team, crew, and cast have worked wonders to get us shooting again in these challenging times. How does that make you feel, British public? I'm, I'm speaking to the British business owner out there or anybody who had a job who is currently locked down told you were non-essential. How does it make you feel that they are still filming? Pretend while you uh, worry about your future, while you sweat whether you're going to be able to stay open through what could be another lockdown because, quite frankly, they can do this shit forever. Uh, it's going to be as fun-filled and action-packed as ever, so it's going to suck. Uh, with plenty of surprises, so you're going to shock us more because you've got nothing. When you have nothing, you have to rely on surprises. You want, you know what would fucking surprise me, Chris Chibnall? Make a decent episode of Doctor Who. Make me laugh once. And I'm not even going to ask you. I mean, Doctor Who episodes don't scare me, but they were creepy. That's not going to happen. Under Chib Chibnall's predecessor, Stephen Moffat and Russell T. Davies, Doctor Who typically ran for 12 episodes per season plus a Christmas special. That's 13 episodes. This year, the festive special, because we can't say Christmas anymore. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Revolution of the Daleks, uh, filmed back in 2019, is expected to air on New Year's Day 2021, while season 13 is likely to air in autumn of 2021. Likely to air. Watch for that to change, or again, and this is my guess, it gets split. In it, the doctor is seen locked away in a high-security alien prison where I hope she stays forever. While on Earth, Yaz is sitting there at a table. Ryan and Graham join her sitting at a table and have to work out how to fight the Daleks without the help of the doctor. Well, well, I'm sure this is going to be exciting. Fortunately, the special was completed before the UK lockdown, uh, the first one. And according to the voice of the Daleks uh, actor, Nicholas Briggs, it will be just the tonic for the Doctor Who fans after this abnormal of years. Nicholas Briggs, one of the biggest disappointments in, to me in Doctor Who. He, uh, uh, he went chill. I guess he had to. You know, he works for Doctor Who. He doesn't want to go against the, the grain. And he supported the destruction of the show he loved so dearly. But now he's just there for a paycheck. This will kill the show. This was a political decision uh, to turn the doctor female. You could have easily created a new character or used an existing one to build another show. And if you weren't sexist, BBC, you would have done that. Uh, and you've done it in the past. They have done it in the past successfully. Of course, the Sarah Jane Adventures. You could have done the very same thing, created, a, had, had a female lead and placed it in this universe and played it off of Doctor Who, meaning you have a Doctor Who season and then you have a season of whatever this show could be. You would have had year round Doctor Who and that would, that would have been a nice, healthy franchise. You could have doubled the product lines, the toy, including the toy lines. Uh, you would have twice as many soundtracks to sell twice as many audio adventure opportunities twice as many t-shirt opportunities and you didn't do it See?